Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our look at Code Vein. I'm Rich Walker and with me today on the couch is Daniel O'Webb. Hello everybody. Hello, yeah this is Code Vein. so as we say in the little title there, it really is like an anime Dark Souls. Uh, so it's Bandai Namco, it's been developed by a different team to Dark Souls though, so the, uh, the comparison is kind of superficial in a way, but I mean Dan, you can see right off the bat that it looks a, a lot like Dark Souls, right? It does. But anime rich. Exactly, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm not a big Dark Souls guy. I've really only played the first one and Demon Souls, and I haven't played any really since that. Wait, wait, is, so, this, is it co op? Uh, no, you have a companion with you, okay. uh, Mia, and she helps you out. So she's actually really valuable. So if you're not a big Dark Souls person and you struggled with those games, this is tough, but she helps out. So, um, as you'll see later on, she saved me quite a lot. <laughs> because um yeah uh we right so let's see how similar to dark souls it is yeah do you have souls uh kind of but it's a different type of thing you've got this cool charge attack as well uh, i was just kind of charging it up and having a look at it to see it's kind really? of range you thought you're gonna go further <coughs> yeah i did yeah well i've not played this before so yeah you can kind of get the jump on them smash them so uh yeah that's oh, quite God, a cool ability space, yeah, he's a nasty... He looks like an anteater. Monsters are kind of weird. I haven't seen anything quite as inventive as you see in Dark Souls, but they're still kind of freaky. I don't know, that's pretty inventive. Like yeah, that. still kind of freaky monsters. Penis nose. Got a massive sword as well, mate. You can switch between weapons. Um, I mean, look at that. It's a lot slower, but it's a lot more powerful as you'd, you'd expect. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I also picked up a big-ass kind of um, two-handed sledgehammer as well, which is quite... Do we see that? <coughs> quite a beast. I think you do. I think you do. Um, this is why I don't understand games like this, why they do corridors. The camera, like, right? Yeah. Like, if you can't do the camera right, don't fucking <laughs> do corridors. Well, this isn't a finished build, so you never oh, know. Oh, no, but, it's, but, but Dark Souls was. And Dark Souls is the same. I love Dark it, Souls. It's a fundamental issue, isn't it? With yeah, the, uh, it's like, stop doing fucking tight alleyways. <laughs> I know it, it adds to the... The, the, the tension of the fight, but I mean, look, if you can't get the camera right, don't <laughs> fucking do something that <laughs> highlights the error in yeah. your code. So anyway, right? Yeah. Let me tell you some stuff about this. Tell us how it's close to Dark Souls, apart from bosses, um, and it's hard. Well, that, 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 up? Like, what's this last echo? Lo that like okay, those are like your. That's like your currency, basically. Um, that you used to level up. You got your potions for healing. Yeah, I think so. And upgrading oh, abilities. Jesus. You got gifts though. So on the right trigger there, you'll see all those kind of diamond-shaped icons. Those are gifts you can activate as long as you've got enough Ica, which is that 12 of 12 number. Okay. So I got full Ica now. So in exchange for that Ica, I can have like an, a boosted shield, or I can have a sort of uh, link with Mia to kind of leech her health. Um, but obviously that screws her over a bit. You've got this um, speed one, which is that kind of boot symbol. You've got lightning, which you can imbue to your weapon, uh, or you can temporarily level up your weapon, make it more damaging. Good. You've got this butterfly one, which gives you like a damage boost, kind of sends you into kind of a, a, a hyper state kind of thing. But that uses all of your echo in one. Okay, that, that's why it's red. Yeah. Why so those, those are you didn't know about them at this point. Well, I didn't know them about them at this point. There's a boss battle we're going to do later on, which kind of where I kind of demonstrate all that stuff. Is that the one where you die at? Uh, I die a lot, but you'll see how it all pans out. I'm not going to ruin anything because you know. All right, all right. Fuck but uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's kind of dungeony, claustrophobic. You can do downward attacks like that, ambushes like you could in Dark Souls as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can see the many, many similarities. Even the kind of speed and the stamina and stuff. Although I didn't find stamina that much of an issue. Uh, obviously, if you spam stamina, the attacks... Stamina, your white bar, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you spam the attacks, you're going to get screwed out, over. Right? And, you know, like your Estus flasks, you have to kind of give yourself a little bit to swig it. It's the yeah. same. You've got to give yourself space and time to be able to administer yeah, your health. Do you only get a certain amount? I don't know. That yeah, so I've got zero now. Oh. And you press down on the D-pad to use those. Um, okay. Yeah, so as you can probably tell, I get screwed here. This is like a second attempt or something. I, I got to this point earlier and got absolutely annihilated because I kind of charged in and activated everyone. There's something as well with this other bar above your stamina bar where you can kind of parry, um, but I didn't really get the hang of it. It's a timing there thing. There is a lot going on on screen at the moment. Exactly, yeah. And I was just trying to kind of stay alive. Yeah, there's projectile attacks as well. Some of them have guns. I mean, Mia's got a gun, so she helps you from range as well. But yeah, the, the basis is the same. You've got to collect your drop to kind of 
let's call them souls for the sake of argument. Um, but they have a different name. I think Lost Echoes, right? We established. Was Echoes not Bloodborne? Uh, Bloodborne. No, when they called something like. Oh man, I can't remember. I can't remember all these all these things. But yeah, basically oh, your Echoes souls. not Neo. I mean, there's so many. There's souls so many likes, souls right? likes now. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, I'm locked onto him. I, I, pff, stupid. <laughs> You're gonna miss him. Do you reckon? Yep. You're right. Yep. So that attack really. Mate, I have good. I have well good spatial awareness. But I got him that My time. Doctor says. I got him that time. So that that charge attack's quite effective if you get it right. So is this guy near the boss? Is that? No. Basically, you access the boss from those. Um, Mr. McGinnis. What are basically the Dark Souls bonfires? The. Um, I forgot what they're called. You'll see them later. But they're little kind of weird plant things where you uh, do what you do at a bonfire in Dark Souls. It saves your progress and you, you know, get your health and you can, you can uh, fast travel to different points. But yeah, you see, Mia can handle herself. She's pretty good. Yeah, she doesn't look like a hindrance. No, if she's not one of those sort of... like a fucking help. She's a massive help. Oh. She really is. She, she's invaluable. Um, but the, the thing is, if she dies, that's it. You have a real... You have a split second to revive her. A if split you don't, second. You have like a, a, a couple of seconds. It's you've got to be really fast. How does she heal? Uh, she heals herself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, she also can revive you if you get killed. Okay. Uh, which becomes really, really helpful. So it's almost like Dark Souls with a safety net. Kind of. Yeah. Enemy yeah. Why well, she got? Does she always had that hat on? Uh, yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah, she's got a kind of Russian bear skin <coughs> on her head. Uh, this is me using some gifts now. So that was a projectile. So I managed to draw his attention. Okay, I like that. So how do you get those up? Is it just time? So what the um, the, the gifts? Yeah. No, they're, they're you spend your ichka on them. So that was two ichka to throw. No, but I mean, how do you get in. your ichka back up? Oh, by attacking. Oh, by attacking. Yeah, yeah. See the little bar. Yeah, I just a tiny it, bar. Yeah. It, oh, it, as that fills, cool. you, you kind of like that. You earn more. It's a really cool little system. Because then it kind of almost encourages you to get out there and fight. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you can't sort of hand back. So I thought I'd play with the gifts a little bit now. So I kind Wait, of. Wait. So are those numbers? How much icker they use? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So the the butterfly one's greyed out because it uses all all of your icker. There's my dropped souls there. Don't know why I didn't pick them up. Stupid. Stupid. I suppose because I thought I want to actually survive the fight first. <laughs> so what did you use then? Oh, the shield one. Yeah. Yeah. Just to kind of boost. Just to boost my defence. Yeah. Man, I feel like because you you don't really play a lot of Dark Souls games, no. do you? No, I feel it like shows, you, you it? no, but you're slowly getting it with the the. It's like to me, it looks a, a lot more bloodborne-y with the sidestep. Yeah, well, it certainly seems a lot faster than Dark Souls. I yeah, would say that for sure. Like almost like bloodborne -y, neo -y. Yeah, I mean this weapon as well is quite swift. If I was this oh, is that, that hammer I was talking okay. about the mall. Yeah, so if you're using that, it'd be a lot slower, obviously. Yeah, I always yeah. use the, the swift weapons. Always. Yeah, it's definitely the way to go. I contemplated going back to the big sword, then I was like, do you know what? Nah. Going back for what big sword? I was, thinking, I was changing weapons at the wrong time. You know, oh. the massive broadsword. Um, I always the cleaver use, thing. I always use the quickest sword possible. Yeah. I like to get in, get out, and then roll away. Well, that definitely works better on these guys. And look at her, she's... Badass. He's absolutely yeah, right. annihilated this dude for me. Didn't even do, so do anything. Do you get her for, uh, is it just this section? Or as is, far as I is know. Is she with you for the entire game? As far as I know, she's with you for the whole duration. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is me progressing now. This took me about three or four attempts before I kind of got the hang of it. Um, and then you get to this missile. That's it. This is your, these are your bonfires, oh, okay. basically. So... We cut ahead now. We died a lot of times, and then this <laughs> yeah, is the, yeah. the proper time, no, right? No, you know, just uh, just editing. Uh, yeah, so we push ahead. Um, what the fuck? There you go. There's a, a guy up there. All right, actually, I think that's female, as you can probably tell from certain attributes she has. Is it her thighs? Yes, Dan. Oh no, you're, it's her calves, mate. <laughs> yeah, She's unmistakable. Like this, like this camera, man. Yeah, it's t in tight spaces and corners. It's a fundamental yeah. issue with the, these kind of games, isn't it? Oh, nice. Um, I don't know what the solution is, Dan. What what can you do? Don't fight in small enclosed spaces <laughs> like this. That is the simple solution. But dungeons, by their very nature, are like this, aren't they? Yeah, but then you can have big dungeons. Big uh, dungeons, yeah. So anyway, she's, she's deaded. Good shit, yeah. Yeah. Good. 
so we get more health and we push on pick up the what was it yellow pages it was i think it was the yellow pages you're right <laughs> um so question who is developing this richard and what pe sort of pedigree do they have as a studio uh i've forgotten the name of the developer dan good job which good is job, very rich. unprofessional good me. job should i look it up quickly you look it up rich and i'll just talk about how um talk about your experience with dark souls and bloodborne and how it's kind of similar to this well I never. I got. I'm a late bloomer when it comes to the Dark Souls games. Like my first Souls game was Bloodborne. Uh, I didn't go back and play two. Not one strictly Demon speaking, Souls. a Souls game, right? It's a Souls. It's a Souls game. It's classed as a right. Souls series. It's by the same devs. So right. I can't. Um, I can't get the cursor here. A good job, Rich. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> um, so after all that, nothing. I but anyway, but yeah. Queen's Nightmare. But so yeah, I got in late. But then ever since then. Yeah. Every new game has, that has come out, I've played it. So mm -hmm. I even played The Surge. Oh yeah, The Surge. That was another one. That was quite. That was quite good. Lords of the Fallen. I didn't play, but The Surge I quite liked. The um, Surge was like it was, it was hit and miss. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like the whole that you had a certain time to go and pick your fucking souls up. Yeah, that was a bit. Because like, like the amount of times that I was like three minutes away from getting yeah. back to my souls. Well, it just kind of encouraged you to leg it and make mistakes and yeah, then lose and everything. Yeah, and then there was, it was staged to make, make you fight in tight fucking yeah. really tight Oh, more than, more than yeah. this and Dark Souls. I just found it cheap. So this is my first attempt at the boss. And um, I, I used the level up gift on my sword and the lightning, as you can see, and it works wonders. It's great. It absolutely smashes him, so there's a point at which I, st I think I stagger him and I just absolutely wail on him. But those swipes, man, are devastating. He's one of those annoying bosses where you can't quite predict his attack patterns, you know what I mean? Well, you can, but you just got to play it a little bit more. Yeah. But he's got one attack where he goes up in the air and he comes down and he kind of casts these lines of yeah, that fire that are almost happened. an insta-kill. And they're just, they're just horrible. Well, all you, you got to do is just keep moving. It's, yeah. it's, it's classic kind of Souls-esque boss movements. Well, it's the whole not being too greedy as well. Do you know but, what I mean? But the, the co-op character makes such a difference yeah. because, like, that's a horrible It's just move. a distraction that yeah, you that, never had before. No, absolutely. If he if he gets stuck kind of fighting her, you, it gives you sort of a window to with health. heal up and kind of regroup. Yeah. Like, which is unheard of in a Souls game. No, absolutely. So it's like Souls with training wheels. Yeah, you could say that. But yeah, this boss, look, he's staggered, he's on the back foot. It's like, yeah, baby, I'm there. Mate. So too, I got too, abs, I got down. Greedy, but mate. Mia, she got me back. Oh, so Mia's great. She's so, so useful. So I'm like, he's done. He's done, mate. I've got him. No, you haven't. First time, mate. He's First try. Dead. First try. No. Called and it, called it. She dies and I die, and I because I thought I had him. Yeah. I was, I thought I had him. You got that too greedy. That is the whole mate. lesson. Too greedy. Too greedy. Precisely that. So this now is just a montage of all the failed attempts I had subsequent to oh, that first go. Christ. So he smashed me there. How many times did you fight him? Uh, dozens. It's mega addictive. Okay. I, I, yeah. I literally um had a vendetta at this point. I was like, I want to do it. Did you do it in the end? No. No. <laughs> no. Did you not? Spoiler alert. But no. Oh, you smashed Mia. Oh, and you. Yeah, yeah. You smashed you both. If, if Mia's dead, you're at a severe disadvantage. Yeah, it's just so... It's those big kind of lunges and swipes, man. It's no, tough mate. to no. kind of gauge when... I like, I like the look of this. I could get into this. Yeah, but it, I got addicted. I got, like, hopelessly hooked. So, anyway, that is... Um, yeah, that was a look at Code Vein. It's out in 2018 uh, for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, I believe. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Cheers, folks. Bye. Bye.